All right, y'all, as y'all read that title, we got LeBron James and Bronny James. Finally, the time has come. They played together for the first time. Full video is set. I have not watched this game when it was going on live. I didn't even know that the Lakers played today. You feel me? But I guess they did. And LeBron and Bronny James finally played in the NBA together in a real NBA game for the first time. And this is the full video. They just dropped this an hour ago on Game Time Highlight Channel. So shout out to them. Let's get into this. Let's see how it went with LeBron. And, and here we go. We've been waiting for it. It is the preseason, but LeBron James and LeBron James Jr. are on the floor at the same time. At the same time. <laughs> that is nice. Side by side. That's really it's nice. They're right next to each other. Oh, what the fuck? with his son as a player on the team, on the same team as him, I'm not going to lie. I told this to my homies and I said it to y'all. I'm putting him ahead of Jordan. I don't care. I don't care. I'm putting him ahead of Jordan. Jordan not even, in my rankings, it goes Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, LeBron James. In my rankings, right? So, if LeBron James win the chip with his son, <laughs> He's ahead of MJ if he win a chip with his son. Damn near Kobe too. But I'm biased to Kobe. But damn near Kobe too if he win a Oh, they not playing. No. They not coming to play. They coming to win. They picking up 94 feet. These, these niggas is coming to win. Let this man win a championship with his son on the same team as a play. Let this man win a championship with his son. I'm putting him ahead of Michael Jordan. And, and it's not even a debate. It's not even a debate no more. I'm playing against each other and with each other the entire time during training camp. And now an opportunity to play here in this preseason game. Again, it will be official in the regular season. But as we said, this is cool to see. And we'll take a close eye. And keep a close eye on it. Here is Beal. Crazy. And the Lakers no, is up. They win it too. They up by almost 10 points. I ain't even checked the scoreboard yet. But then I see they up. Did not shoot it well the other night. It was just one for six and was scoreless until uh, the end of the game. Uh, I talked about the Griffies. And of course, Gordy uh, and his sons, Mark and Marty. Ted Nesser. That goes way back. I mean, way back. Well, you have to go way back yeah. if you're going to talk In about the it. NFL. <laughs> but then the Tim Raines and the, his son, also, not a long list. Not a long list at all. That's what makes it so special. Yep. Royce O'Neal. He's, of course, play a little defense for you. That's something they need. All the way. Oh, Connect went straight up. That was, that was good defense by Connect. Really good Verticality. That was good defense. I mean, Connect is not a little guy at all. At least 6'6". Six, six. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. he's all of that. He's a legit 6'8". Six, six. Damn, fly. Yeah, he's all of that. And then J.J. Reddick said that he's in that 1% of talented shooters. Ronnie, did he travel? Yeah. He did. Little, little bunny hop. Off the, dri hop. off the dribble, they just do, do not allow you to do that jump. Yeah. Again, Lakers turned it over 20 times. And then Dalton, the rookie, Dalton Connect, turned it over five. So he turned it over more than any other Laker. But he did so many other really good things in that game. Bradley Beal trying to go right around. Reeves, he does. Then runs into Hayes, who fouls him. I don't like to see defensively is fouling jump shot shooters. You know, you want to challenge, but you don't want to send them to the line. Bradley Beal, three-time All-Star, sixth in NBA in three-point percentage last year. He had career highs in field goal percentage and a career high in three-point percentage. Come on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see him get. He loves the environment that he sees in training camp. 
He says it's light years better than last year. I tell you what, you know, you know, Frank was their coach last year, and he's a, a good defensive coach. He just didn't have the players to, to play good defense, I don't think, last year. He just was not a good fit in that regard. Again, they've got some very offensive-minded guys. Connect. Coach Bud, as far as he's a proven commodity over there. Cutting, turnover, taken, Phoenix. Left wing side, one thousand. Oh, was coming over to try to swat it, <laughs> but the whistle of foul. Yeah. If he hadn't have been fouled by uh, Connect before that, that shot probably would have gone up into the fourth row. So one went in the 15th. <laughs> yeah, that he, was headed for the fourth. That was headed to the fourth, yeah. yeah. It's all about trajectory. It's all Speed, about how you, how you wind up. He hadn't really wound up. And the one that he blocked, oh, man. He, he had a nice wind up. That's, a, that's about as impressive as far as that kind of block is concerned. We've seen it a long time. Beal, an 81.5% free throw shooter last year. So on the floor for the Lakers, you've got Connect James, Hayes, Reeves, and James. How about that? Bronny and LeBron. For Phoenix, Dunn, O'Neal, Beal, Plumley, and Morris. Lakers will play again next Thursday. Of all places, Milwaukee. When's the last time we went to Milwaukee? Last regular season. Yeah, I mean, for a preseason game, like never. Never. A lot of renovations as LeBron hits from the outside. Renovations, uh, renovations at Crypto.com oh, Arena. LeBron, his three have gotten so much better over the years. It's crazy. Like, he really is a threat. By that three point line, not damn near. The reason why there are no, no preseason games at the Lakers' home this year. Plumley on the follow. Here's a chance for the break. Now the hook pass goes over to Reeves. He's open. One bounce for Rhythm. Launches it. Got to get a bounce. Does not. And O'Neal has it. Quickly up ahead for B. This is trouble. He misses. Weak side rebound. Reeves in the hook pass. So a good pace to this game. Connects. I think that was blocked from behind, wasn't it? I think Royce O'Neal got a piece yeah, of it. Yeah, I think so, too. Never saw him coming. Jones, last year, led in assist-to-turnover ratio. He's done that six straight years. And in the corner, that is Dunn, the rookie. Ryan, Ryan Dunn showing some range there. That's right. He was traded to Phoenix on draft night from Denver. He was all defense ACC last year, but showing some range, as Stu mentioned. LeBron trying to go baseline, trying to bully his way in. He gets blocked, and he gets hit in the face. Shot over, connect. And all of a sudden, the Phoenix Suns have woken up, and it's a two-point game. Damn. This is the make basket league. <laughs> I know. You make some baskets, the opposition does it, and you're back in it. Lakers had a 10-point lead at one juncture right now. It's down to only two on James. Uh, first game for him in the preseason, only the second game for the Lakers, but continues to show his all-around play. is still one of the frightening sights for a defense is when he's in transition and you're the only guy back defensively because you know he's going to give up the basketball. His defense, known of the blocking shots, want to run down, chase down. LeBron, LeBron 40, but it's crazy that he really still play like he... He's, he's literally still playing like he's 29 or 30. He's not playing like a 40-year-old man at all. He just does everything and does everything very well. I mentioned 22 years now, only Vince Carter has matched that. Bronny in year number one, played that one year at USC, prep locally in Southern California. LeBron, standing on the line, I'm assuming. No, illegal screen, oh, okay. probably. Could have been one of those. Offensive foul is right, Stu. Yeah. So often the screener isn't in a position to really get the guy he's supposed to screen, so he moves to get in front of him and he's caught. Phoenix shooting was 29%, although they came out of the gate 10-3 run over the Lakers here in this quarter. On the rim, KD. He's not shooting well at all. He's one for seven. I'm not worried about him. <laughs> no. no. One for seven tonight. Bronny, no. And the deal has it is that one went off the heel. Proud of the deal in the attacking zone. Wide open. One bounce. Booker. 
Well, they've got their big three back on the floor. Durant, Booker, and, of course, Bradley Beal. Yeah, see maybe, what, five, six minutes here and then don't see them at all in the second half. That would seem like a, a plan, perhaps. LeBron down the middle, hanging in the air. And one, hanging in the air and scoring the king. It's just simple basketball that time. He gives it ball to Austin Reeves and then... Cuts to the basket, gets to pass, goes up with the left, gets fouled by Kevin Durant. That was a nasty one, though. I give LeBron. That was a nasty one. Has a three-point opportunity. That's that's just a plain old simple basketball. Bro, he's not playing like he's 40, though. He's not. This is crazy. Anthony Davis about to check back in. He's coming in for Bronny. Okay. This nigga got 40,474 points. This this is crazy. <laughs> That's the end of this video. Um, so I guess that that was as long as they played in the game at the same time together. Uh, this season is going to be interesting. I might have to cover this whole season with them too. This season is going to be very interesting to watch with the Lakers being with LeBron and Bronny James. Very interesting, very historic moment, very legendary moments we're going to be witnessing and seeing. What my boys say... We all witnessing greatness. And he ain't never lied. He said that since day one when he came into the league. And he haven't lied. We witnessing greatness. We witnessing history. Unbelievable. I gotta give, I gotta give it to LeBron on that one. On that one, this is history we witnessing with him. Let me know what y'all think though down in the comments below. Let me know how y'all think they gonna do, how they gonna play together, and um what type of season the Lakers gonna have together. Let me know. If y'all think the Lakers are going to have a successful season. And by successful season, I mean making it out the first round of the playoffs. That's somewhat of a successful season for an NBA team. Only if you make it out the first round, you had a, a, a pretty decent successful season. Not successful, but a decent season in the NBA. So let me know. Comment down below what y'all thought. Let me know if y'all want to see um, my reactions um, throughout the whole season of LeBron and, and Bronny playing together. And I got that for y'all. I'll see y'all next week.